Top 10 Reasons to Keep Friends with Your Ex Keeping friendships for the wrong reasons could be harmful to both of you. For a reason, your ex-partner is no longer your ex-partner. However, they were a significant part of your life for a while, so it's normal that you'd want to keep the relationship going. Many former couples, whether spouses or dating partners, make an effort to stay friends after a separation, and some are successful. Ordinary exes are more prone than their opposite sex counterparts who have never been romantically linked to have low-quality friendships, according to a study. They are less emotionally supportive, less trustworthy, less helpful, and even less concerned with other people's happiness. This is especially true in non-mutual breakups and for ex-partners with whom they had a strained romantic relationship. A portion of your reasons, which may or may not be openly acknowledged, will determine whether your friendship with your ex turns out to be a positive experience rather than a terrible battle. The 10 worst reasons to keep in touch with your ex are as follows. Number 10 They continue to adore you. It's best to let go of your ex-partner if you're in love with them. And it's a one-sided love. After all, who wouldn't want to spend time with their ex? For youngsters, on the other hand, this could be bewildering and disturbing, particularly if it gives them false hope. They may not understand even if you make it clear that this is the only friendship you want. People view things the way they want to see them, and they'll be looking for any signals of animosity. Avoiding contact with your ex and allowing them to move on is the best course of action. What is the purpose of friendship? Is there a compelling reason to keep your friendship with your ex going? Sure. If neither of you has any underlying motives comparable to those listed above, then being friends with each other would not damage your present relationship. It's a good litmus test whether you're comfortable spending time with your present spouse while also spending time with your ex, and vice versa. Although evil intentions are cunning, the mind has various tricks up its sleeve for masking them as good intentions. Just make sure you're being completely honest with yourself about your true motives. Number 9. The grass is greener effect is affecting you. According to studies, you'll be more motivated to keep in touch with your ex if you're dissatisfied in your present relationship. Because you aren't continually exposed to their bothersome traits, it is easier to romanticize someone you aren't with. This viewpoint, on the other hand, proves to be a trap since you will never be satisfied no matter where you go if you constantly compare your situation to that of others. Instead of looking to your ex for comfort or support if you're dissatisfied in your current relationship, try communicating your feelings with them. Adding your ex to an already tumultuous relationship will almost surely make things even more problematic. Number 8 Nothing will be able to stop them. It's possible that remaining friends with your ex isn't your cup of tea, but what if they insist on keeping friends with you and won't let you go? You have the right to decline a friendship, as previously stated. Make sure you're completely honest with yourself about your feelings for your ex, and never be afraid to call the police when things get out of hand. While viewing your ex's Facebook page occasionally is harmless, true stalking is both improper and terrifying. Surprisingly, it's a quite typical occurrence. Jealousy, obsessiveness, wrath, and the need to impose control are all stalking tendencies. Keep a lookout for the following traits. Number 7 Things are being put on the back burner. If you can't find someone much better than your ex, keep them around as a satirical version of what has already been said. This is not only inequitable to others, but it might also be inconvenient for you. There are times when you must close one door before opening the other. Number 6. Hopeful they'll change their thoughts in the future. Your separation may have been triggered by your ex's infidelity or drinking problems, but you remain hopeful that they will learn from their mistakes and mature into the ideal spouse you seek. You are choosing to keep your ex in your life by being friends, and you may even be able to help them change by doing so. The idea of reconciliation can motivate people to improve in certain situations. If your ex knows that winning you back won't be tough, they may put more emphasis on proving that they've already changed rather than making a genuine change. And you could be setting yourself up for more disappointments. Number 5 You're down in the dumps. After a breakup, there's a sensation that something is lacking in a person's social life, and it takes time to supply that missing component. If you're having a lousy Saturday night, asking them over for takeout or a movie seems better than going out and meeting new people. According to the study, 
it may lead to a relationship that is on and off, with less love, more uncertainty, lower satisfaction, and more communication challenges. While it's understandable to miss those personal moments, putting yourself through the agony of being with your ex again may not ensure that you're deserving of that short comfort. Turn to your family and friends for support and advice on how to make the most of your alone time when you're upset. Number 4 You spend a lot of time with the same folks. According to a study, you're more inclined to keep friends with your ex if your family and friends want you to. This does not, however, imply that you must. Keeping a connection purely for the purpose of preserving societal harmony looks to be a desirable goal, yet, if this is the only reason for maintaining the friendship, it may be problematic. You have the right to spend time with your friends without your ex present, as well as to decline invitations to activities where your ex will be present. Though it's good to visit your ex from time to time, it doesn't mean you have to be buddies. Because you have a long history together, it may be difficult to think of ex-partners as simply another acquaintance, but such histories will fade away with time. Number 3 You take pleasure in keeping a tight eye on them. It stings to believe that your ex is happy with someone else, even if the relationship ended in a breakup. Being friends with them allows you to keep informed about and have influence on your ex's dating life. However, becoming their confidant will not benefit you in the long run, especially if you disagree with their decision to move on. For better or worse, being friends on Facebook gives you access to your ex's present life. Following them on Facebook could make you feel jealous and worried. Unfriend your ex both offline and online if you can't help yourself. Number 2 You're still enamored with them. Being head over heels in love with them and secretly wanting to see them again could be a powerful drive to keep your friendship going. It's sad, because it's also one of the deadliest. You won't be able to persuade them to change their thoughts if they don't like working for you. Putting forth a lot of effort in vain just leads to despair and a negative self-image. Spend time with the people who make you feel important and appreciated. Most likely, this ex isn't one of them. Number 1 You feel sorry for them. If you've broken up with someone and they're struggling to understand why, the last thing you want to do is further hurt them by declining their friendship. Although it was never your responsibility to care for them through their loss, the help you are giving them may be making things worse. According to studies, people want to see that support is available when they need it, but they don't want to feel powerless. They may be in need of comfort at this time, but the support you provide will most likely not help them move on since they will become permanently reliant on you. Rather of taking on that burden alone, make sure they get the assistance they need from others. If you must apologize because you owe them money, make sure it is genuine rather than forced.